Workers at the Apple store in Atlanta have formally filed a petition to form a union. Increasing pressure on the tech giant to raise wages. The move comes on the heels of big victories for the labor movement at Starbucks and Amazon. Joining us to discuss the latest efforts here, let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan. And Alexis, we've heard from some of these workers who've said, look, we were inspired by what happened over at Amazon. Yes, taking inspiration from another big tech. So this is coming from 100 plus Apple workers at a retail store in Atlanta. They have a union that on their behalf has filed a petition with the NLRB saying we would like to put this to a vote. Now they would be the first retail workers for Apple to do this kind of an action. Uh, so approximately 70% of the workers have signed cards, have signed and said they favor this effort. That's according to the union. Now. The the Communication Workers of America, they're the ones who are purporting to want to represent these workers. And in a statement on their website, they said this, retail workers at Apple provide critical sales and repair services to a range of customers, yet have been denied a living wage, cost of living adjustments, or equitable stock options. Now, I spoke with the union's communication director this morning, and she said that these workers are in the wage range of the mid $20 an hour. So if you take that out to a yearly uh, salary, perhaps that's around $52,000. They say that's not quite enough money given the cost of living changes for these workers. Now, what happens next is that the NLRB will do an investigation, make sure they have jurisdiction, and they'll also be asked to negotiate and come to an agreement between uh, the two parties, between Apple and the union, to say, can we organize this vote in an agreeable way? If not, they'll hold a hearing, and during that hearing, they'll hash out things like who really qualifies as a worker. As the union says, they think it should be all workers at that store who do not have managerial or supervisory roles, but that'll have to be hashed out before the vote takes place. Well, it's going to be interesting to see how this particular vote influences other stores because we have seen that with Amazon with Starbucks as well we've already heard of a union vote here in New York City too what's the timeline for this vote in Atlanta so what will happen is once the NLRB does its investigation, they have to issue findings. Once they issue their findings, they will have a 20 day period during which they have to wait until the vote can happen. So at a bare, bare minimum 20 days, but it's going to take some time before the agreements are put together or the hearing takes place and the negotiations are finished. So I think at 30 days is reasonable, but that would be a really rapid pace here still. And, and does it still just come down to wages? I mean, you mentioned the $20 an hour is not enough. These workers don't believe it's enough. But we've heard in Amazon's case, for example, about worker protection, about benefits. I mean, what are some other things that this particular store, the workers are who want to unionize are seeking? Well, one other thing that the union has mentioned is that the workers would also like to have a say in safety and protecting themselves. And so when you think about coming out of a pandemic, you know, these workers have worked the entire time to offer services, they're saying, to customers who are coming in, they're interfacing with the general public. And so they say, hey, look, they'd like to have a seat at the table when it comes to how they're going to be protected in those environments.